What's up guys? So yeah, I'm on the real DVD watchers again because I'm replacing my sister, Tippy Stick Reviews. She couldn't do our review, so I'm doing it. And this time I'm gonna review Hancock. Now, the reason why I'm reviewing this, even though it came out a while ago, because I just watched it last night and this isn't my DVD, this is my sister's DVD. So um, I borrowed it from her and I um, so watched it last night, like I said, and I have to say, this is a pretty bad movie. I didn't like it, not much. Um, so the story is um, the story of Hancock, who's a superhero, he has powers, he has super strength, and he can fly, and uh, bullets don't hurt him, so uh, he's pretty badass, but um, he's hated by everybody in the city, it's in Los Angeles, I think, uh, because is a homeless drunk and every time he saves someone he destroys something like he's gonna save a guy and he's gonna destroy a building in the process so everybody hates him and he's like always insulting people and um and everything until he saves uh, a guy who's in public relations and the guy um is really thankful that Hancock saved him so he decides to try and help him get a better image so um, that's what he tries to do, and uh, so that's the plot. And also, uh, we discover that the the guy I don't remember his name, the guy who's in public relations, that his wife is uh, the same kind as Hancock. She has powers too, but when two people of the same kind come together, uh, they lose their powers. So Hancock is losing his powers because he's next to this woman. Play, played by Charlie Theron and I, I didn't say that but you can see that Hancock is Wilson and um, the reason why I didn't like the movie is well first I'm going to tell you the good points of uh, the movie first it's not a typical superhero movie like you no know, Spider-Man everybody loves him he's great and everything so at first it was great because you have this guy who's like its purpose is to save people, but is a natural, and so that was a really, really good story at first. But what turned the movie into a bad movie, into my, in my opinion, sorry, is that there is no character development, not at all. I mean, the characters you don't know where Hanko comes from, you don't know anything about him, and at some point he's uh, talking with um, the guy's wife. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. But um, and she tells him that they met before and uh, people tried to kill Hancock and stuff, but they never say who tried to kill Hancock. And that's what I didn't like. You couldn't relate to the characters because there was no development to them. And that's what I didn't like about the movie. And it's a huge, huge mistake they made. Because the idea for the movie is awesome, but I don't know, I, I don't like what they did with the characters and the movie, but it has, it has some funny parts. It, it's funny at moments, but not enough to save the movie. So, um, yeah, that, that was my quick review of Hancock. I'm sorry, I'm kind of, I can't articulate today. I'm sorry. But um, I'm kind of tired. But anyway, that's not the point. So the point is, Hancock, great ID, bad movie. So. Yeah, I was really disappointed in this movie because I expected a lot. So, yeah, that's it for my review, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week on The Real DVD Watchers, and once again, once again, I'll be filming in for Skate Escape Preview, my cyber sister. So, um, see you next week, and probably earlier on my own channel, or I'm going to have a DVD update soon. So, that's it. See you later.